Right then, this little guy is my Harpactera pulchrops, or pulchral bees. Um, I'm really happy. He has been small for a very long time. Such a slow grower. Good eater, but really slow grower. Um, and if I'm honest, he's been a brown sling. None of these colours. Um, and as you can see from the middle of the picture, he has just molted. Uh, that would have been last night. And now I can see the beginnings of his adult colours. He's actually got a golden body. Um, and you can see clearly see the blue legs starting to come through. Um, golden blue leg they're in. Finally starting to live up to his name. I don't know if it's going to show up properly, but those colours are amazing. He's got obviously the blue legs, the orange on his legs, and then the golden carapace. I didn't realise that the gold carapace and abdomen is a different colour to the orange legs. Um, okay, he's not very happy with my torchlight apparently. But uh, yeah, I'll get his malt out of there and, uh, and leave him to uh, harden up before giving him a feed again next week but uh, yeah very happy that he's no longer a plain brown sling one week later right so uh, hold on let me change you back into autofocus there we go Let's better do it hands free this guy is of course hiding under the leaves so that you can't see him from this angle brilliant there he is down there. there this guy is my recently molted there we go get a bit of light on him see if that will help uh, blue legged golden baboon harpactera pulchripes um, so, he molted last week, so I need to see, oh god sorry, cockroach escaped, my missus will kill me if that gets out in the bedroom. Yeah, there we go. Right, didn't get out by the way, if you're watching this. Um, we did get out, I'll put it back in. Um, right, let's find a cockroach the right size. See what what we can give him. It's difficult to see what size he is really. Um, oh, that might be a bit big. Well, let's see if he can take this down. I'm going to get my other camera out just so I can get a close up shot. If he does, I'm just going to drop it in. See what he does. You'll be able to tell whether he's ready or not by how he reacts, I think. Um, down there, I think. Is it going to be on camera? Yeah. Oh, yes. Definitely ready then. Turn that around a little bit. Took that straight down. I uh, can't zoom in any more on that camera. But that was a good takedown. Let's uh, switch over to my mobile for a little bit, get a little bit closer. The quality is obviously nowhere near as good, but obviously I can move about and I can get in there. But yeah, beautiful little spider. Again, um, I'm not sure if I posted the other video yet or not. Multi last week and he went from a drab brown sling into this little stunning thing. Um, Finally got some blue, got some gold, got some orange legs. Oh, happy dance. Uh, you can see his abdomen's a bit, ooh, a bit on the small side. That's because he's freshly malted. But yeah, there he is. Gorgeous species. Um, again, I was confident it was the right species, but I was so disappointed that I had a brown, a brown spider. I love the fact these colours have come out now.
and a little tussle with the roach. Yeah, that is my Harpacterra pulcropes or pulcropes. Uh, blue, blue legged golden baboon or golden blue legged baboon or whatever other common name you want to give it. <laughs>